reduction of elements in organic compound, reduction of carbon and hydrogen organic compound. Generally all carbon compounds, hydrocarbons contain carbon and hydrogen in its structure. Except to the few compounds like carbon tetrafluoride and carbon disulfide, they don't have hydrogen in its structure. In this video, we are going to see what are the experiments that test to identify carbon and hydrogen in an organic compound. For that, the organic compound is treated with copper oxide. In a bent delivery tube, the organic compound is the organic substance to be detected is heated with copper oxide. So here, the evolving delivery tube is connected with the lime water. If an organic compound contains carbon means it burns with the copper oxide and giving carbon dioxide. For example, the carbon present in an organic compound reacts with the copper oxide and it gives carbon dioxide. The evolving carbon dioxide is passed through the lime water. On reaching the lime water, uh, 